Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Ultrix tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the formula tool. First, we'll take a deep dive in the configuration panel and look at the main components. First, we need to define an output column, whether we're updating an existing field or creating a new one. Then we'll create an expression in the expression box. We'll take a look at different data types and how that can affect our expressions and how it impacts our data set. And we'll talk about the add and delete keys for deleting individual formulas in our formula tool. Our formula tool can be used to update existing fields. In this example, we're updating the city field with the title case formula. The data preview will show us the impact of the formula on record number one. We can also use the formula tool to create new fields. So the same sample data set, this time a simple division problem to create spend per visit. And the data preview is showing us the results in record number one again. And we can see we have a new fifth field. We'll talk about different types of functions available in the formula tool. First, our string category with great functions similar to widely used functions in Excel, like contains and left and replace. We'll take a look at math functions, conditional functions, such as if, then, and switch functions. And lastly, date time, which allows us to perform calculations based on dates and times. The first example we'll look at is adding static values or text to our data set. And the key differentiator here is whether we're working with a string or a numeric data type. If it's a string, we're going to need to use quotation marks to surround that string as a data reference. If it's a number, we can just write the number how it is and it'll be a numeric field. Now we're going to go into the Alteryx environment and perform an example like what we just walked through. So we're going to grab the formula tool, it's in our favorites, so we're using the example in Alteryx as we do in this video series. We can also search for it in the search bar. We can find the example there as well. Notice how the search bar also searches the Alteryx help and the Alteryx community. So taking a look at the first example, if you'd like to follow along, we're going to create a new static column. First a field called record source. So dragging and dropping a formula tool and clicking on the input anchor, we can take a look at the data set as it's flowing into our formula tool. Alright, so we'll get the environment set and then zoom in and take a close look at how we can add this new static reference. So in the drop down this is where we can select an existing field to update it or in our case add a new column. Very important to remember to add some text here to define that column name or else we'll get an error when Alteryx tries to run. In the expression box we will enter any piece of text and as long as it's surrounded by quotation marks we can add this piece of hard-coded text to each of our records in the data set. Here the default string type is a VW string. If we want to work with numbers, spatial objects, or date time objects, we can. But in this case, we'll work with a default string. After running the workflow and looking at the output anchor, we can see that whatever text we've entered inside the quotation marks has been assigned to each of our records. This is a great way to tag your data with really anything you'd like. Now to add a second formula, we can select the blue plus icon. And again, hitting the drop down, we can add a new column reference again. And this time we're gonna add a numeric value of 100 as the goal for each of these customers. So selecting a numeric data type from the drop-down allows us to enter a number that is not surrounded by quotation marks. Again, the quotes are only needed for string references. They're not needed for numeric references. As we take a look at the output, we see our goal of 100 has been assigned to each of our customer IDs. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey.
For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.